What is up, y'all? This your boy, R.K. Pop, back at it again. What's up? You know me, chillin' chillin'. Uh, today, it's Friday. And it's a good Friday. Let me shut this TV off. I don't know why I'm gonna really shut it off. Shut it off. Thank you. Uh, today is Friday. And, um... And, uh... It's kind of a chess day for me. Um, kind of chess. If you guys don't know what the kind of chess is, um, you can go get a box anytime you feel like it. Typically, it's a comic book store at your door. A mystery, not a mystery box, though. But I love it. I love everything about this company. Um, I don't remember what this month's theme was for some reason. But it's all right, because he emailed me, and he told me that... Um, I'm not gonna know most of the stuff that's in this box. So, I'm cool with that. I mean, it's always cool to learn something. Anyway, before we start this video, um, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for watching. Um, also, if you, if you haven't uh, hit that subscription button yet, y'all gonna hit that subscription button. Um, y'all don't wanna miss out. Uh, also, uh, and anytime you guys like this video, Give it a thumbs up, and uh, and if you guys subscribe, hit that bell notification so uh, you don't miss out on any of the fun. Uh, I usually do a lot of, uh, you know, I do some giveaways every hundred and stuff like that, so you guys don't want to miss out. Anyway, here's today's box, the comic chest, yeah, boy. All right, it usually has ten comics in here. Some. Um, some uh, hero clicks and um, retro toys, stuff like that. So we will see what's in this this month. Let's get in here. Anyway, the set, the 600 and 700 subscriber giveaway contest is closed. I actually guys gave you, I gave you guys an extra day. So, you know, uh, so you guys can get them in there. All right, this is the the sheet that, that he usually gives you, or thank you on it. All right, uh, the thing to this is Independence Day. I should have known that. So, he said he did not put any Marvel or DC stuff in here. So, I'm gonna guess these are independent comics. I'm a guess. We'll see. All right, and on the very top, we have uh, the first Punisher comic kind of book card. I like these a lot. These are really actually pretty cool. And then uh, trading cards. All right, and it says coming soon. Stars and Stripes. Which that looks like the Puerto Rican flag to me. And I'm gonna keep that. All right, so this is the rest of the packaging that's in here. He packs it up pretty good. Get out of here! And then we get our Starburst. Which is key. I like Starburst. Oh wow. We already have a collectible already here, so we're gonna stick this on the side. All right, we have uh, we got Mo Candy. We got Mo Candy. Mo Candy. All right, we got vintage, vintage cards, hero clicks, and our comics, and the box. Get out of here! So, anyway, I usually start with uh, the the cards and stuff like that. And I hope, um, 
I'm kind of excited about that figure over there. I know it's a figure. I know. All right, here we go for the cards. This card looks pretty cool. Rev, Red Death. And in the back of it has a hologram. Pretty cool. Edge. Conan. Issue 34, October 1978. I wonder if uh, Gary B, if you don't got these cards, hit me up, man. I I'll let you get these. Uh, Conan. Issue 27, March of 1978. Conan. Issue 18, April of 1977. And we have a playing card from Sin City. An Ace of Spades, which is by far for me the best card in the deck. Alright, and then. Get into these hero clicks here. Also, I gotta show you guys a Funko that I end up getting. And I still do have that tour run. It's, it's sitting in the in the chip. I didn't have, you know. I just had so much time. I had yesterday was crazy. Get out of here! I had to go fix my truck. Cost me 100 bucks. I think this is Ashley. It's pretty cool. Major Maxon. The hair effects always have amazing details. Oh, this is a good one. I love this one. Judge Dredd. If you guys haven't seen that movie with Sylvester Stallone, rip it in. Alright, and then we have The Darkness. Speed Dang on Cool too. Alright. Get out of here! I personally don't know how to play hero clicks, but I do keep them because I do have a couple friends of mine that do play. And if they don't have something in their collection, they don't ask me for it or stuff like that. And I don't mind giving it to them. Okay, we have a toy here. Yeah, no clue who this is. But it looks pretty daggone cool. Y'all let me know in the comments who this is. Because he told me I'm not going to know any of these. Because I'll be honest with you, the only thing I know on the hero clicks is just dread. That was it on that one. Get out of here! So anyway, yeah, I had to fix my truck yesterday. And I, I ain't have time to do anything. Okay. Oh, now this is pretty cool. His eyes are hollowed out. Really weird looking. Doesn't have a brand that I can see. As TM Advance, but this can come off. That is pretty cool. See his eyes are they hollowed out a little bit? Then the cape on here. You guys are gonna have fun telling me who these people are. And I usually keep all the little the retro figures. Get out of here! I usually keep all the little retro figures because they're really cool. And they bring back some nostalgia in my younger years when I was, you know, five, six, seven years old. 
Now I'm about to be 40. It's crazy. So we're gonna get into these uh, comic books. Now, mind you, I'm gonna tell you once again, I might not know who these people are at all. Warn me. Get out of here. All right, the first book we got. I like the cover of this. It's really nice. Uh, this is the uh, Wild Star. Looks pretty cool. And, you know, the it feels, you know, like the cover is like bumped out. It was actually pretty cool. The next one. Uh-oh. He said I wasn't going to know nothing. Let me tell you something about Torok the Dinosaur Hunter. Rock the Dinosaur Hunter. Uh, let me tell you. Uh, uh, Torok was actually one of my favorite games on the Nintendo 64. Uh, we used to kick booty. <laughs> I love Torok. Torok's fire. Death Blow. This cover is actually really simple. But it's a good cover. I really like it actually. Simple but good. Alright, the next one. Nice. This is Purge Glow in the Dark cover. I like Glow in the Dark covers. That is sweet. That is pretty sweet. Now, mind you that the box, this box was the new price. So you guys, you know, if it says that you see that's the new price right there, because back in the day it used to be 60 bucks, but it's well worth it. It says Witchblade. Right? Yeah, which blade? Got some pears in his hand. And the next one. We got Chappelle. Now this cover is amazing. This is guest starting to spawn. You see him in the back. Which he looks amazing. This is a nice, nice cover. I wonder if Slim Comet has this. He loves Spawn. Me and him are, we, we like Spawn. Spawn is pretty cool. The next one, Earth Watch, Earth 4, Prolude, Death Watch 2000. This is a number one cover. That's a nice uh, fighting cover. That actually looks pretty good. All right, the next one we have Nightmare, and this is another beautiful, magnificent cover. If you can see the hollows that are in there, it is so amazing how they do that. All right, we got two comics left, and then we have a figure to unbox. <laughs> The Savage Dragon or Dragon? The Savage Dragon? Yeah. This is pretty cool. I like this cover as well. And just so many colors and the vibrant greens. I love green. Last but not least. Wildcats. And this is another amazing cover. Um, and just the art. On these covers are just it takes so much time and so much respect in it that's why I like comics there's just so much good art and the stories are always pretty cool and, and stuff like that here's the last bit of the bit of the bit of the bit we get a new knife for this bug let's get it
And then, you know, the comic chest is, is always worth it in value. It's always worth it in value. Because 10 times 4 is 40 bucks. You know what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? And then, you know, you got your retro toys, the hero clicks, the cards, the candy. And then this. Oh. Boom! Oh, check that out. That is a Wildcat Covert Action Team. For Include Special Edition Collector Card. That's even cool. This is a really nice figure. This figure came out in 1994, y'all. And look how crisp the box still is. I am with that. I am with that. Here's the back of the box. Gives you a little story. I can zoom in a little bit. I'll leave it here for a second, just in case you guys want to read the story and pause it. But sometimes I do like reading the stories in the back of the box. This right here is amazing. I like this a lot. This is from Playmates. This is a Wildstorm production. This is really nice. I like this a lot. Good job on that figure, yo. Anyway, now, get out of here. Seven, 600, 700 contestant, subscriber contestant um, contest is over. I mean, over, over. Luther Vandross, over. I gave you guys uh, an extra day just in case, you know. It is over. Um, I will be announcing uh, the live uh, on Monday's video. It might happen this, this coming up Sunday or Saturday, depending on what's going on. I will, got, I will let you guys know. We are going to do a shake and take. Last man standing. Two winners that night. So I want to thank you guys very much for subscribing, commenting, and sharing uh, my videos. I really appreciate that. We are on the road to 800 and we're almost there. Uh, let's get to 1,000 that fast. I really appreciate everybody that's been supporting me. Uh, I appreciate all the love and everything that you guys give to me. Anyway, as I say that, we're out of here. And in this channel, what do we do, y'all? We have love. We share love. By all means, we give it. One more thing before I go. Gary B, the ca camo ca cam ah, casual comic guy. Y'all go sub to him, please. Y'all go show him that my love, show him my respect, and show and share that. Uh, when you go to Gary B's, make sure that you tell him I sent you. All right. Anyway, like I said, have love, share love, and by all means, we give it. This your boy, R K Pop. Yo.